Hello, future tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Lobotomy Corporation. I'm a little bit out of practice with the whole streaming recording thing, so forgive me if I'm a little bit out of sorts. We, uh, in between, in between recordings, just so you guys know, is when I'll be adding new characters. So welcome Fella to the team, because he's in chat and he's one of our moderators. He's been around a while, and we'll get to more people as the series progresses. Obviously, if you're leaving comments in chat, it will take until I do the next recording session, so there might be a, a fair bit of delay. But don't worry, if I continue this game long enough, we'll go through dozens, dozens, maybe even hundreds of names, depending on how poorly I play. So you can certainly give me lots of name suggestions, and you have a reasonably good chance of making it in. Second reminder, please don't put spoilers in the chat. I'll just remind people for a couple more videos, and then we'll be okay. You guys, I can trust you guys, right? All right. Hey, Daubry. We're still... Well, I I started... It's a, it's a late stream. It's a late stream. I uh, I definitely did not start it early like some days. So uh, I equipped some weapons and armor in between. We only have the one, the penitence. Oh, my word. Speaking. I haven't spoken in months. I don't know how to let's play anymore. Anyway, we equipped the one sin penitence armor which gives you some defenses, better than no defenses. And if you take black damage, you have a very small chance of healing your sanity. So it's actually kind of important to check the details out. Most armor and weapons do not have special, like the, 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 the this is all flavor text basically, just stories. It's good to know. I, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to read all these, but they're good to know they're there. But if it's in orange, that means it's like an ability for the weapon and armor. And not too many armor and weapons have it, but it's good to know. So if someone with penitence takes black damage, which is this one, uh, they have a chance to recover some SP. And with the weapon, when they attack, they have a chance to restore SP as well. But only if they have two justice. Nobody has two justice right now. So once we can upgrade our justice to level two, then... If you hit something with your stick, you yourself have a 5% chance of healing a little bit of sanity. It's kind of cool. Uh, I wouldn't be betting on a, a 1 in 20. That's a crit on a d20. Uh, critical miss or critical whatever. But anyway, that's that. So we have fully researched in the last episode one sin and we read through all his stuff. So that's fine. We do want to finish up his armor and weapons though. Just to make sure we've got them all. So everyone we recruit at least has some basic armor to start with. And... For today, we will be researching a little confident bird that punishes the weak, the sinners, and other profane ones. Some employees stated that it looks fairly cute after seeing its small wings flapping. It's cute, guys. Don't worry. Totally safe. Now, one thing uh, a keen-eyed viewer may notice is the cost to unlock things has changed. And this is how you predict how difficult of a monster it will be. It's not perfect. But if you remember one sin, it was two points per section, eight points, eight points, four and four, I believe, if I remember correctly. The, the bird, it's more expensive. 50%, 50%, double, a little bit more overall, like four tips is is uh, 12 instead of eight. So, you know, it's about 50% more expensive, give or take. Probably means it's a more dangerous creature, or at least it might be. Anyway, let's get going. Our goal for the day is to do four goods. We should be fine. All right, the base has expanded. And look what we've got in here. It's just a cute little bird on a little stick. It's totally fine. Just sitting there chirping away. I mean, flapping its wings. Looks kind of cute. Fairly cute. So what we're going to do is we're going to research this guy. And I'm going to have people in the background working on one sin. So the new guy, fella... <coughs> is going to see the bird. Don't don't worry about him. Finn and myself are going to hang out with one sin for a little bit longer. You can see our sanity has gone up a fair bit. Uh, it means that actually it'd be much smarter for... Like, let's just say that the bird deals sanity damage. It, it doesn't. But if it did, um, having more total sanity would make it a lot more survivable. Um, so don't worry, though. It doesn't deal SP damage. So you don't have to worry about that, fella. It, it won't affect you. Uh, not having a uh, little bit of, of uh, grinding. So for today, I'm going to work on attachment for myself and Finn, and we'll just let that go on in the background. All right, fella, what do you think? I did say 
Fortitude, Prudence, Temperance, and Justice. Fortitude you generally put with physical, instinctual kinds of things. Insight is more logical, thinking kind of things. Attachment is feelings, your heart, your gut. And then repression is like... I don't know, that's the hard one. It's the other one. This is the other, other, etc. It's the etc. Usually, in my experience, when you're dealing with an animal in this game, an animal abnormality, it's a fairly safe bet to go with instincts because they are physical creatures. You don't really share emotions or logical thought. It's not like a computer or I don't, a book or something. And I don't know, repressing just seems like a bad idea to start with in general. It rarely is the right option. So, let's just go with Instinct, because I'm a nice manager. And we'll see how he does. And uh, meanwhile, in the background, we finished up already, so we'll just we'll just keep this cycle going in the background with those guys working. The clip-off counter will go up every now and then, it's fine. Alright. <laughs> also, we have Fast Forward now. Very nice. So, employees put a perch in its containment chamber because it seemed to be bored. Uh oh. Okay, one to one. Not good. Actually, the perch is there to prevent it from being stepped on due to its small size. Don't step on the bird, fella. Two to two. 50 50. It never chirps, but its stomach twitches sometimes. It's got a nice little red pattern on its stomach. He'll be fine. Not many know about its hidden teeth. What? Birds don't have teeth. You survived! Fella! Not dead. You didn't die. Congratulations. I'm gonna leave you here. I wanna see how much damage it did, just so I can like I don't want I don't want you to heal up until I know exactly how much damage it did. And then and then we'll send you to heal. So, because at the moment this is the only way I can see our HP, fella, he did take 12 damage out of 17. So <laughs> He might have been able to fail one or two more times before it would have killed him. But he didn't fail, so it's all good. Alright, get in there and get regenerated. And uh, me and me and uh, Finn are just going to hang out with one sin. So, now that we have eight points, we can learn more about the bird. Um, so, again, I know a lot more than I'm sharing, clearly. But... I do strongly recommend you go for the tips first. Strongly recommend. For almost every single abnormality. The, the name of it doesn't matter which, which work works best. You can just figure out with the experimentation fairly quickly. Although it is sometimes nice to get one of those. And the escape information, well, I mean, that's nice. But if it escapes, you're going to have a bad day no matter what early on. So what do we learn? When an employee enters the containment room in another abnormality... <laughs> its clip-off counter has decreased with a normal probability. This is just like the other ones. If it says normal, I'm assuming around 50%, but I don't know exactly. And clip-off counter. I did mention that about one, one sin not having a clip-off counter being nice. When Juliet... When an employee falls into a panic, its clip-off counter has decreased. So there's two ways for its counter to go down. Either... Working on something else besides it, or panicking. And uh, you might notice that I've been doing a lot of work over there. I'll stop doing work over there for the moment. Since now we know that that work over here could cause problems over here, essentially. Alright, fella, you ready for attempt number two? Now, instinct, you survive, so I feel like it might not be a bad idea to stick with that. If you survived one instinct, maybe you can survive two. I wouldn't want to risk going with something that's very bad after that. He'll be fine, guys. Alright, don't worry about the clip-off meltdown. That's not the bird. That's the facility alarm. And we've got lots of time before we have to worry about that. So I'm just going to get myself ready. I'll fill in after he goes healing after this is done. Alright. It feels like it's back in the forest. It used to live when sitting on the perch. The eyes are great. 
You need to stop failing, though. Actually, the purpose of the purpose... The perch... Oh, we already read that one. Meltdown timers for the entire base. Yeah. Most of the time, it acts like a normal bird. Flying here and there in the containment chamber. Bella loves normal birds. Just gotta get some more successes here. Couple more successes. You don't want to take six or seven damage hits. Seriously. Like, well... Fella has not survived. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll rebuild him eventually. That's that's the problem with the bird. So, uh... Sorry, fella. Such is your life. And death! Don't worry, uh... Finn's got this. Speed this up a little bit. I'm just gonna go back to the regenerator for no reason. You almost made it! You almost, you just needed to not fail so much. Now maybe, actually, hold on. You know what I should have done before I sent him in there? I didn't even, be, even when you fail, you keep the energy. So although fella failed us, we can finish learning about the bird. <laughs> Thank you for your information, fella. So let's learn some more about the bird before we watch, uh, I did pause it, right? Yeah. Before we've watched Finn get murdered by the bird. So it returned to the containment room after a panicked, a panicky employee became normal or after a certain period of time. So what it's saying here is if it escapes, it will return on its own if someone stops panicking or after some time. Order an employee to take control of birds. When the employee tries to attack the it, the central part of it is broken and redacted. After that, the employee's death confirmed. Failure to suppress. So, let's just say that it breaks out and we send someone to take control of it. It kind of sounds like something bad happens. And maybe we should see that. Yeah. Because this is a learning episode, let's get this going. This, this episode is meant for learning. A lot of times, when you get a new abnormality, the first time you try to work it, it kills everybody. And now we're down to employees. Clearly, instinct was not the right choice. I, uh, I definitely did not do that correctly. So it's just me, and, uh, well, I, yeah, I want to see it escape, honestly. This won't take too long. <laughs> I'm just hanging out with one sin. We got a pile of corpses in here with the bird. The fairly cute bird. Unfortunately, we didn't get enough research to, to unlock the information. If I could see this, I could see its clip-off counter. Also, it turns out insight is the correct choice. Um, instinct was the wrong choice, and I probably should have tried out a different color, but... The animals use instinct rule is not always correct. It turns out it's better to think about the bird than to uh, touch it, I guess. I don't know. All right, Daubry, see you around. Uh, I'm going to stream again tomorrow. We'll we'll see. <laughs> I uh, we'll see how my my energy clicks. Oh, by the way, I got this cool. Headband? It doesn't really matter. I'm supposed to put the alarm over there, jerk. Um, this cool headband means I'll be really good at working with uh, one sin. I honestly just want to show off what happens with the bird first here. Because, <laughs> to tell you the truth, when two-thirds of your employees are dead, it's probably a good idea to consider resetting your day. And then you can learn, like... Now I know to send people in with insight rather than um, than instinct. <laughs> Headbands make people ten times more efficient. Man, not against whatever that was. But yeah, in case you forgot, or I never explained it, headband from one sin gives you higher uh, SP total 
And supposedly better success rate against one sin, but I mean, that, that last one failed pretty bad. I wonder if I clicked the wrong action. No, I did attachment. Attachment should be our best bet right now. Come on, bird. Hurry it up. People want to see what happens when an uh, abnormality uh, breaches containment. Bad enough you pecked them to death. I, I, I forget how long this will take, actually. It shouldn't take... I mean, it would be much easier if the clip-off counter melts down the room and we ignore it, because that'll definitely lower the, the counter for that room. It's a clip-off meltdown, clip-off counter... I don't know what these are supposed to be. Meltdown level... Meltdown stages or something? I don't know. Apparently, the bird will never escape. Trust me, it'll escape all the time in the future. It's just... I think it's because we only have one and it's only got like a 50-50 chance of dropping its counter right now. Um, it's just taking a bit longer than I would like. Classic. At least we got some... Nice background music, just thumping in the background there. Well, I mean, if I can't get it, I'm going to see if we get the, the breach over there. There we go. That'll do it. <laughs> so now we just got to wait till this goes down. I figured 50-50 odds, that might do it. All right. So. What happens when the meltdown occurs? Well, it sets the clip-off counter to zero. So what happens when this thing's counter gets to zero? Also, we lose some energy. It has escaped the containment facility. What are your orders? Well, uh, there's a little bird flapping around. All right, today we fight. In the regenerator room. Alright. These guys, you can't control them. They're just like random clerks or something. You can right click it. You can select somebody and right click it to attack. Or you can left click it and use the menu to select them from that. Uh, conveniently from here you can see our stat. Our HPSP. So, here goes. I'm going to hit it with my stick. There we go. Oh, well that's unusual. <laughs> uh huh? dead <laughs> so I mean it, it does warn you <laughs> it, it does say the central part of it is broken and well that happens and then you're dead and you can't I don't even know if you can suppress it at that point because it does a lot of damage so of course what it means there is we have to reset our day which is fine because I'd prefer not to have to start off the game with two or three dead employees. So, we're just back at the beginning of the day. We'll get, get this going. This time, fellow, look at this. Resurrected. Back from the dead. You'll be totally fine this time around. It's the nature of Lobotomy Corporation. So, you lose all your information on the abnormality when you reset the day. So, we don't have it unlocked. But we still know, right? Because we know. And oh look, Insight! Much more survivable, barely. But he did survive. And uh... Let's see... I'm gonna try to get the name of it next, I think. And just like last time, um... Finn and Blue are gonna just grind a little bit while Fella's learning about the bird. It's fine. We know how to handle it now. We, there's no way it can kill anybody. We've learned all we need to learn about the bird. Alright, fella has worked it twice without dying. It's a new record. It's called Little Bird. It's a tier 2 abnormality, a TEF, and uh, it definitely does red damage. Yep. <laughs> so now we need to uh, stop the the, uh, the meltdown. 
So that will be Finn's job. And he should be good at it because he's level 2 on Insight. Um, Fella actually had a bit of a disadvantage on Insight work because the first two employees had already leveled up Insight a bit. So you can hopefully we'll see here that Finn does a little bit better. How many know about Little Bird's disgusting flesh that divides into several parts? Well, we do now, because we saw it. Look at that, 10 out of 12. All right, with that, let's learn about, I don't know, escape information. There you go. So now you can see that it has a maximum counter of four and it's actually very weak to all damage types. And it's still at level four. So as this number goes down, we will know approximately when it will break out, which will make our job a lot easier. Also, fella, get back in there. So one thing that's kind of cool here is because it's a Teth level, he will gain his stats faster working on this thing than we are gaining them over here. So, um, that was kind of why I split them up, was so that uh, whoever was working the higher level guy, you know, could just focus on stats over there. Alright, we have enough energy technically, but, you know, the research is not done. We do have better success rate, but we've got you know, a few more things to unlock. Meanwhile, we've got more points over here so we can buy more equipment. Bella's all healed up. Get back in there. Clip off counter did go down to four. Or no, did. Yeah, never mind. Started. I thought it went down. Come on, you can't let it kill you on insight work. That's your jam. Also, I got my cool headband again. There's definitely some min-maxing you can do with those accessories that I'm not going to worry about right now. But um, you can send people to different abnormalities to try to get them um, the accessories you like the most. Some of them are quite useful. Alright, let's get... That unlocked. Now we can see it's armor and weapons, which are actually a big, big upgrade. A huge upgrade, one would say. It'd be nice to get at least one of these today. And uh, let's check out other ones. So, at Insight, if you remember, said hi. Uh, so attachment would not be better. Alright, one more time for Fella, and then he can take a break from that one. I promise. Don't be nervous. That's because <laughs> if you're a lower level, your employee level to the monster's level, uh, you get basically a, uh, I think it's a, a sanity, a, a SP debuff based on the difference. So you, uh, you do sort of take extra damage. All right, don't worry, I got this. All right. You know what, fella? You've earned some time with uh, one sin. He'll be much nicer to you. Don't worry. Alright, see? Look at this. No problem. Uh, repression would have been a terrible idea, in case you're wondering. And now we have it fully unlocked. All the research is done. But we would like to get at least the armor. The weapons, we're not going to use the weapons a whole lot yet. But it will be nice to have um, the, the new upgraded armor. Because it's, uh, well, there's a couple reasons. Not only does it protect against red damage better than our current armor, which is what's killing us working on the bird. But because it's a Teth class, um, I'll have to show you in the manual. But it uh, there's another modifier as well. 25 points. I'd like to get at least one of those armors before I end the day. If you were if I was really like I was if I was playing on my own, I would probably want to grind out all of an abnormality's armor and weapons before I moved on to the next day. Just so you had it ready for the next day. Because who knows what you're gonna get tomorrow, basically. 
But I'm not gonna, you know, for the recording, I won't go that long. I think we'll just work on the bird one more time, and then that'll be it. And we'll let Finn have a try again. It'll help. We're actually going to have a lot more sanity than Fortitude right now. So we should probably consider doing something for Fortitude. Oh, this is looking good. Oh, come on, Finn. Well, 10 out of 12 is still pretty good. All right, so we get at least one test level armor. And we're definitely going to want to get the rest of it next time, next day. And then the weapon would be nice too, of course. Actually, a very fast shooting, long range weapon, even at low damage, is quite useful. So this guy does give you pretty solid gear. Even if he's a little scary. And uh, yeah, that's it for our day. Easy. Alright, so in the end, nobody dies. Uh, Finn gets some sanity and some stats. Blue gets some sanity and some stats. Um, temperance, I guess. And Fella gets caught up a little bit on Sandy. We didn't level up any of the uh, the full levels, but we got you know more SP max and work speed and all that. It all helps. And I'll be able to take in two new viewers this time. So two people in chat, if there are two, will have a chance to join the crew. Now, um, next up is a pick of three. One thing you may notice is the circular ones are different than the square ones, or mostly square. Um, the circle ones are, what do they call them, backer suggested, Kickstarter kind of? Like they are like patron supported members, like so they are ideas that were made by backers. Uh, I'm less familiar with them because my first time playing I ignored them all, I just went with the, the default ones. Um, but let's just read them. So. This is a record of the day we must never forget. I already said I didn't really want that. You see a singing in front of your eyes. I have no idea what that means. It is a very splendid and it approaches you. So you see some singing, something, I don't know. You even understand it. Or, sir, your angel is chewing a body part of our colleague. I mean, that sounds pretty fun. <laughs> I mean, um... A record of the day that we must never forget is not much fun. You see sing I don't remember what that is. I'm pretty sure I remember this one. This one might be more interesting than these. What do we think? What do I think? Singing. I don't remember what it is. Doesn't sound very interesting. This sounds more fun. We're, we're sticking with fun for this Let's Play. That's the, that's the motto. Hello, manager. It's your third day working here. Three is a mysterious number. Powerful beings in Fable often grant others three wishes. Well, I am not a mage or a billionaire to grant your wishes. But I know what your predecessors want. All of them seek a sort of growth. Leading the company to prosperity, achieving spiritual maturity. You name it. They all wanted to branch out somewhere. How about you? I feel like... I got enough spiritual maturity already, I'm super mature. It's, it's time to get... time to get paid. Your future is defined by what you do now. And now you work for Lobotomy Corporation. In Lobotomy, you can see things that can't be seen, feel things that can't be felt, and do impossible things. Your wish will be granted. Perhaps you could be the best manager I've ever seen. So, did their wish come true? Well, I guess what happened to others isn't important to you. I I mean, it would be nice if the other managers were successful and we knew about it or not, because maybe that would relate to whether or not we have any chances of surviving. I will support you to reach your goal of wealth. <laughs> Super AI. You did your job perfectly again. I have a lot of work to do. My to-do list is always full, but I know I can do it. Just a little more push, and I am slower than the others. I always check the list, or I miss something important. That's why I have this notebook on me all the time. Except she's an AI, right? <laughs> Don't you have, like, a database? You can just put it in there? Well, it's almost worn out. It has always been with me since I began working here in the control team. 
I know Angela worries about me sometimes, but I am totally in control. In the control team. <coughs> I think I was born for this job, you know. You probably were made for it, yes? It would be fine if I was not working for the control team as long as the job was similar. Grammar is tough. Malkuth, please finish the report I asked for today. Sure thing, boss. I'll have it on my list. I have it on my list. I will turn it in today. Well, I should go now. It was a pleasure meeting, talking, whatever. The AI is here. They are unstable. Except me, of course. Malkuth is the worst. Haven't you noticed? I can't complain as she's easy to control, though. Ah, controlling the control team that has everything in control. All right. Complete a meltdown containment job eight times is the quest three. So we probably did like three of them or something. Yeah, Angela is super sane. She keeps saying how trustworthy and sane she is. I believe her. The AI with blue hair like a morning rain and the smile that everyone loves that she never smiles. Anyway, that's our next quest. Expand. And... Don't we get it? I thought I'd get a, uh... My second, uh... Upgrade. Maybe, maybe it's the next... Oh, no, here it is, here it is. So, like I said, these two upgrades don't even affect us at all right now because we only have one department. But we will need them later and, you know, there's no reason not to pick them, so... Once we have multiple divisions, we can move units, we can move employees between them. Sounds useful. Later. Alright. Future tubers! Thanks for watching and all that stuff. Hope you've enjoyed, etc, etc. Find out next time what this is. It's fluffy and cute. It's a puppy with white fur! We've got a cute little bird and a cute little puppy. Man, we are on a roll for cute little friendly animals. Um, we'll see who it eats tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you next time.